All right, let's jump on this old legacy separated path. Again, this has been in place since uh, 2015 when I was here before. And off we go on the Domessinil. So we are in a bike and bus shared lane at this point, and we're heading uh, back towards La Bastille. Again, you can still see the walkway up there. The plante. Oh yes. And again, it's hairy here for us, but we're gonna jump over here onto the extra wide sidewalk. Definitely a section that needs to be worked on. And again, we're back in a bus and bike lane. It was just at that intersection that it just completely goes away, which is so not cool. Again, this is something that they will have to fix eventually. But it's also clear too that the majority of the motor vehicles were turning off and not heading down this way anyways. And up ahead, you can see the Bastille. You see that the taxis cheat a little bit. They, uh, they start merging over into what I understand to be an exclusive bus and bike lane. I don't know, maybe there's some rule I don't know about. And we're basically going to make our way three quarters of the way around this to be able to hook back up with uh, this fast pull. So over in the interior, it looks like they do have a cycle lane there. So we're gonna pop on over there and uh, check that out. So we'll actually cross when the pedestrians get the green. Cause that's just a mess, as you can tell. There. And again, the ridiculousness of these big traffic circles, multi-lane, 
with traffic signals is just a complete disaster, really. So now we are in a little two-way cycle track that kind of go, takes us around this Place de Bastille. I think Sebastopol is up here. Let's check it out. Or no, Rue de Rivoli. I don't know. I think that's where we need to go. take this for a little while. Because it looks like a good one. Again, you just have to kind of watch out for pedestrians. They'll just kind of wander right on out. Better us than cars. a lot more familiar here. There you go. See, we're back on the Rue de Rivoli. It looked much more familiar with the wide. Ah, we got some of our acrobatic kids. Saw them earlier today. Missed getting them on camera. They love doing their wheelies. They think they're wheelie cool boys. Sorry about that. That was bad. And again, you can see just how incredibly comfortable it is. And you can just, you know, you're rolling through, you've got a green light. You do have to keep an eye out for the pedestrians, but other than that, it's all good. And you can usually time it like that. Oh, here's some inline skaters. 
Inline skating is huge in Paris. So it's super cool to see them out. Now you can tell we're getting into the really, really crowded section again. This is where it got narrow for, for us as well. This is, uh, I think this must be a department store. Is that a department store? A uh, store, big, is that a big shopping store? Yes. Department store, yeah. Yeah, so it's all decorated for Christmas. You can see, it looks just like a, you'd expect a department store to look like at this time of year. And we get to wind our way through the traffic blocking the intersection. And uh, oh, there you go. Runner showing his dexterity and his balance. Well done, sir. Pete's there. And then we're back here to the transition. And again, this is a transition I was filming this morning where if the rider in front didn't take that, then the others didn't bother. I'm gonna roll through that to get ahead of the pedestrians there. But yeah, you can just tell another 10, 15, 20% more pedestrians on the street right now than we had before. It's just really quite impressive how many people are around in the theater district area. And this is kind of a little queuing area that I have found um, coming off of the cycle path to this cycle path. Again, two-way cycle tracks here, joining. And you get plenty of the pedestrians a chance to get through. All right tight squeeze there. You can see that they could use a little bit of a wider waiting area there as they stack up. Now we're rolling down this fast pull. Have to just kind of keep our eyes open for pedestrians. A few Keep our eyes open for pedestrians and motor vehicles turning into the space and or blocking the space like this idiot. And sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me a Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.